Now, one last thing in this area is the use of multimedia. You see, humans are visual, auditory, kinesthetic. What that means is that we experience the world surrounding, experience everything and everyone and every object and product and service based on senses we have. Some of us are very visual. We have to see a product to get a sense for what it is and buy it. Some of us have to hear something in order to really like that product to buy it from a website. Some of us have to get a feel for that. We call them visual, auditory, kinesthetic. Here's your job. Your job is to have a website that utilizes audio, video, and similar technologies that it can push the button of the buyer. It can invoke emotion in human beings. Once you learn how to use video and audio on your website and other multimedia objects in your website to invoke emotion in human beings, you'll do just fine selling online. That's very important. So how do you do it? Simple. These days, you, you got to understand who's your audience, who's coming to your website. Are they corporate people who all have access to broadband? I'll go with video. Are they people from certain parts of the planet, the world, that don't even have access to any broadband, maybe just a dial-up connection? I tend to not use video, but I definitely use audio. Why? Audio files are very small, small compared to video files. But it's still audio files. Let's say somebody goes to your site and you talk to them for 30 seconds about your product or service. It impacts the person who's auditory. Better yet, video is perfect because it impacts people who are visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. And therefore, I am true believer in having powerful short videos on websites. If you go to one of my websites, um, let's say experts.tv.com. I had it for four years. I mean, pe before even YouTube existed. For four years ago, I learned the power of online TV, internet-based TV. So anybody who went to my website, which was basically providing services such as web design, web development, web marketing, the homepage of website had a picture of a little TV, like a television, with a picture of a grandparents on top of the TV, just like a real TV, with a nice remote control channel next to the TV. As soon as you visited my website, a person would start talking to you about my services, products, and then would interview me. Through that, I changed my business for better, amazingly. You see, before that, I was a web designer. That was one of my businesses, by the way. I had many other businesses. But then so many other people did web design. I changed everything with that technique. I actually came up with a tagline that say, said, uh, if I remember correctly, um, online television and radio for better promotion, something like that. So even though I was still doing web design, web development, but I put myself uh, marketing-wise in a segment of the market where people saw me as, exer as an expert in online television, online radio. Now, why is that important? Invoking emotion in human beings, in your site visitors, in your prospects. Because if, if you can invoke emotion in them through audio, video, you'll do just fine. Now, what kind of video should you have? Not long. Nobody wants to go to your site and watch a half an hour commercial of your product. The length of your video should be 30 to 60 seconds maximum. But during those 30 to 60 seconds, everybody should get a good feel for your product or your service. They should know what you're doing. If you're very presentable yourself, in some cases, put yourself on so they get a feel for who you are because you're establishing what? Trust. If you're not presentable, and sometimes I tell my clients, don't be your own actor, then hire somebody to do it. The idea is you want to provide a personal connection with people. Some people are still are traditionalist, which is fine. They want to know who you are. And what happens is when they go to your website, they're already nervous. Oh my God, buying online. But then they see you, you're talking to them. They see your smile, they see your product. They get a sense of the product based on their visual sense or they hear something you say based on their auditory sense. That makes a big difference.